Okay, for AM, some people don't like AM. They want to go directly to FM. I'll show that FM circuit too. But now these are transmitters. Hold on. Now these are uh, transmitters you can hook up to your CD player in the uh, headphone jack. Uh, so if you want to play CDs around your house and do you want to build one that's AM or build an FM? That's fine. I have those circuits. Uh, if you want to build little uh, voice transmitters uh, to give your kids, they can run around and, and talk on the radio. Uh, I built those two, a 386 uh, that amplifies the hell out of the Electret mic, the FET microphone. And uh, then that goes through a choke, and then that goes to uh, the emitter of a crystal oscillator. Now you can pick the frequency. Of course, if you want to uh, hit on the AM band, you have to find a crystal in that band or find a, a crystal or a resonator. That's very interesting, a resonator that uh, will hit the band or a harmonic of those crystals will hit the AM band. And of course uh, all these have to be low power just around the house. You cannot interfere with the transmission or the reception of legal radio. So do not interfere with uh, uh, broadcast radio. This is for around the house, the garage, outside, maybe camping, something like that. A lot of fun, you learn a lot. garage kind of hot it did have an air conditioning but uh, I had to turn that off because you wouldn't hear me um, here is the AM voice transmitter or any other kind of sound because it uses a FET microphone one of those little tiny FET microphones not a, not a big one you know <clears throat> this is a two wire um, FET microphone. If you have the three, of course you have a positive, negative, and then the output. And that would still go over to a cap. You'd have to probably put on a resistor. Uh, I try not to use those. This works very well. So we'll get the uh, two-wire Electret, the FET little mic. Uh, electronic uh, gold mine, uh, all electronics is going out of business. They might have some, uh, maybe Amazon. Anyway, so this is for voice or sound. Sound goes in here. You have to have a resistor on top, 27K for this instance. You play around with that. And that goes into a 386 audio amp. Everybody's familiar with the uh, 386? Now I got this uh, FET output going into pin 3. I grounded 2 and 4. I added this uh, 10 microfarad up here. Makes uh, changes the gain up here. You can also add a cap to pin 7 and have it come down and go to ground. That makes it really loud. Uh, but I didn't need that in this instance. So power uh, pin 6 goes up. This is to 9 volts. Now uh, what I've used is a choke. 
Uh, you can try a capacitor or a resistor, but I went through those and this choke uh, really made everything work. Sound better, modulates better. Uh, so the audio, amplified audio from the microphone comes through here and is applied to the emitter of this crystal oscillator. So let's talk about this. I've got a resistor 47K up here for the bias. I do have a cap down here. Um, now I don't know if that's for decoupling or what, but uh, it really helps. Um, now this is a one watt. I didn't write down the part number. Uh, you can try a different one watt. Um, what are they? TO92s, the little short plastic ones. Well, this is tall. This is a tall um, NPN one watt transistor. <clears throat> still, it's still. If you're looking at the flat side, it still goes EBC, emitter base collector. So, the audio comes over here, pumped up, goes to the emitter, and modulates the amount of current going through this transistor. Um, now, of course, I have a, a choke. I is real small. It looks like a resistor. It has color codes. Uh, sometimes they're a little glossy, shiny, and... Uh, a little wider at the ends. You know, it's not a straight tube resistor. Okay, more information on the little metal can on the left hand side with the white adjusting slug. If you turn it over, there's a little tube inside. Well, that is a capacitor. Now, comes with that. Uh, it's probably 180 picofarads. I uh, can't guarantee that. Well, be careful because if you're not getting the right frequency or it's not oscillating, look at uh, that to see if it's actually there. Uh, if it's missing, you're going to have to add something, and that's what I did with the 151 picofarads. So I used that, and the crystal or the uh, resonator goes here from the base to the collector and the output of course is off the uh, collector through a cap and then this antenna you have to keep that short uh, around my house I've used a five foot uh, vertical wire that seems to work gets about 50 feet if you want to go a little further uh, go longer uh, but if you keep, if you want to keep improving your antenna uh, and signal output, you may have to put a variable cap to uh, the collector to ground and adjust that and look at your waveform, your peak to peak. And if it's a good sine wave, uh, but that's a whole other field of science, antennas. Now, what I discovered here is I'm using um, a 500 kilohertz resonator. Now, you look, you look in your AM radios, and you can see the little, usually they're kind of orange, <coughs> and they're the, uh, like the IF filters, uh, resonators, and those are usually 455. Well, if you look around, you can find those at different frequencies. Uh, I found, God, I'm really sweating. I found some at 1 megahertz, uh, of course from China. They're kind of small. I'll show you a picture right here. Um, and I had to solder wires to those to get them into the protoboard. Now, real quickly, everything that works here on a protoboard 
may have to be tweaked or adjusted if you go to a copper clad circuit board, which is always better than a proto board. But at low frequencies, you're experimenting to see what works to get you close. Uh, it may melt and distort, and you're going to put them in a box. So, so the ideal thing is to to put every everything in. Oh, of course, it's not focusing on that. There we go. Put it on a circuit board, and there's different ways to do that. That's a whole nother video. Uh, back to this. So if you notice I got a capacitor here in the tank circuit with some inductor and crystal uh, setups, you may not need that and it will work just fine. Uh, I, I found out with this 500 kilohertz resonator, uh, I needed to help the tank circuit. So I tried different values of uh, capacitors and uh, 151 picofarads works great for this oscillator to function at 1.377 megahertz. Uh, because if, the, if I divide the 1377 by two, it's what, 688 or something like that? Uh, if I divide it by three, it's like four something. It's almost a 455. Okay, but that's, that's how you can select crystals. And, and I've discovered this too. If, if you have a crystal that says 25 megahertz or 13 megahertz or 45 megahertz, way up there, and you plug, start plugging these crystals of higher frequencies in protoboards and an oscillator, and you look at the output, and you go, "Well, this isn't the this isn't the frequency that's on the crystal." Well, it's it's a problem with the protoboard capacitance, all those little pins in plastic making connections uh, under the protoboard, you know, whatever you set it on, and also your components are aren't set up for the fundamental frequency plus what if you get a, a crystal that is that is uh, what's the word now you get a crystal and it's order order yeah you yeah um, right they're cut the crystal is cut a certain way so they oscillate at a different frequency I don't know, it's hot. My coffee's over there. I think it was like 104 yesterday, so anyway, I could I could eat lunch right now. Uh, but anyway, this is a lot of fun, and I gotta stop talking and move on. So this is AM voice transmitter. One, one quick thing. Now, this could be uh, seen as a filter, um, cutoff filter, uh, bandpass, band, you know, you're, you're right at the output of this oscillator and you've added a component that affects the output. So with uh, I've drawn arrows and a capacitor so if you add uh, in this case a 0 0.001 microfarad cap from the collector to ground all of a sudden this guy puts out um, uh, like 488 kilohertz or, or real close 490 something real close to what's marked on the resonator now that also may may work with uh, uh, larger crystals and I'll show you pictures of those uh, 
Uh, but this is lots of fun with this. And what's amazing is it's it sounds pretty good. Now I'm almost deaf. Um, Air Force jets, guns, antibiotics, all kinds of weird, you know, life. But this sounds pretty good. Now, of course, when we get the FM, that sounds even better. Because uh, when you're on AM, with these storms rolling in, you're going to pick up um, lightning and motors kicking on and everything because uh, all that is amplitude. It's, it's pops. And you'll pick it up with the AM radio. Okay, any questions? No, this isn't alien technology. Okay, next.